President Trump boasted Friday that he fulfilled a campaign promise by recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital, mocking his three predecessors with clips showing them only voicing support for the move. I fulfilled my campaign promise others didn't. Trump tweeted early Friday. In the montage, Bill Clinton is seen in 1992 saying, Jerusalem is still the capital of Israel and must remain an undivided city accessible to all. George W. Bush, who is seen in 2000, says, As soon as I take office, I will move the United States ambassador to the city Israel has chosen as its capital. And Barack Obama is seen in 2008 saying, I continue to say that Jerusalem will be the capital of Israel. I have said that before and I will say it again. I fulfilled my campaign promise others didn't. pic.twitter.com slash bidiompvj Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, December 8, 2017 But Trump's predecessors never made formal declarations about the city's status and signed national security waivers every six months that kept the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv. In his announcement Wednesday, Trump also said the embassy will eventually be moved to Jerusalem while signing another six-month waiver allowing it to remain in Tel Aviv for the time being. According to the 1995 Jerusalem Embassy Act, the U.S. must move its embassy to Jerusalem, unless the president, citing national security concerns, signs a waiver to temporarily halt the move. Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as the capital of the Jewish state upended decades of U.S. policy and sparked widespread protests that could derail future peace talks between Israelis and Palestinians.